Hey, what's up everybody? Imperial Ace back again with yet another episode of, oh my gosh, what's going on, of Surviving Mars. Um, looks like international. I didn't even know they were offering that. Go away. Um, when we last left off, we've got another dome. We finally built another dome. We got it online. Um, it's not powered on yet because I don't want to want to deal with all the extra power consumption until I absolutely have to. But we're at least getting things lined up so that as we grow even more, we'll have enough capacity for it. Um, I don't know. We're probably going to build one. We may build another branching dome. I don't know for sure if that's what we're going to do or not. But I at least wanted to leave room for it. Um, what we are going to do, however, is... Let's see. These living quarters cost... They give us four more space. They cost... 5 power, 0.5 power for power consumption. So, I think what we're going to do is build them. So, let's go ahead. One there. Because I want more than enough space. I'd like to have plenty of colonists. One there, and then we can go and build, like, another little small garden or park or something. Ta-da! Okay. Cool. Because I want us to be able to house as many colonists as possible. I want us to have plenty of people working on things. This is still getting up and running. We're trying to get all of that fuel and metal loaded back up. It requires an absolutely insane amount. So basically all the excess that we've got is going to go straight into that. The colonists are almost here as well, so we may finally have to build another landing pad. I was wondering if that would happen, but not to worry. It is a fairly simple process. Um, Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to just go ahead and... Since, we're probably, since this isn't going to be the primary landing pad, it's just going to be like a, a secondary, we're going to move it down here. Uh, R&T to reset. So let's make it... Fairly small. And drag it across there. And then we're going to move you down here to do it. And then I'm going to send him to go build that other sensor tower. Because I don't want the colonists... They shouldn't be sitting up in orbit very long. Yeah, as it is, I think they're going to be sitting up there much longer than I would like. Okay, come on. Let's get it done. Now would be a good time. Yeah, I know they're sitting up there. Oh, we've got 115 hours to bring them in. Holy cow, I did not realize it gave us that long. I'm glad it does. Don't get me wrong. Um, right. Come on, hurry up and flatten that. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and get the other landing pad. We're going to orient it opposite of the one we've got. <laughs> if our rover would move. <laughs> Of course, he had to go right through where I wanted to build. What do you mean uneven terrain? I just leveled it. Fine. There. That should be in range. Yep, in range of both of our towers. So, sweet. And then they'll need to hurry up and build it. If you build it, they will come. Or are you not loading stuff up? Yeah, you're not loading stuff up. Okay. So come get the other, the last of that little polymer over here. And bring it back. And he's offloading all that extra concrete. And then go... Oh, he, he used the entire deposit. All right. Head up to that one, then. Sector scanned. Actually, you know, since it leaves it looking, it doesn't actually, like, do the whole 
gouge out thing that that one does. I'm kind of tempted to have him come grab this one. Nah, we'll send him up there. We'll have him go get that one. All right, come on, hurry up and build the landing pad. I'm gonna bring the people in. There we go. Bring it down. Sanity's looking good. Comfort's also looking fairly good. We are going to go ahead and open up that additional shopping shift over here just to buy us as much time as we can before we have to open up the stuff in the other dome. Let's see. We're looking good there. Brr, barely being breaking even there. That's a little bit less ideal. Did we shut down that additional shift here? Yes, we did. Okay. That'll be one more worker per shift there. One more worker per shift there. Let's see. Where do we need more people? We've got a single security shift here. Kind of tempted to change that. But we'll see. We gotta prioritize. That is going to increase our food consumption, though. So, I don't know what we want to do about that. Optimal Harvest 55 versus Optimal Harvest 40. It does require more water. Hmm. We got new colonists. Woohoo! Oh, did they already get out of the rocket? Yeah, they did. Look at that. I can moonwalk on Mars. And what? What are you already complaining about? Do you not have a job? Is that what you're complaining about? Yeah, you don't have a job. That's what you're complaining about. Well, fine. We'll find you a job then. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's see. Machine parts are kind of what I want because I want to fix our power situation by getting some of those wind turbines going. So we'll go ahead and open up the third shift at the small machine parts factory. Hopefully increase our machine parts production. Let's see. Yeah, service buildings are full. Shopping, service buildings are full. Social. I was afraid of that. Hmm. Well, there really is only one way to correct that, but it is not an ideal scenario. How much power do these generate? So that's 30 between them? Which is not a ton. And this takes five. How much for another... How much for the buildings we need? So we would need... They want, what, shopping and social? Were those the two that were full? Yes. Oh, wait. Now, drinking, shopping, and social. So that'll get social. Small space bar will get drinking and social. Okay, so then we just need shopping. Research. What, small grocer? Will I get it? Yeah. So we get a small small grocer and a small space bar. That should fix that issue. What's the power going to be for that? One power. That's fine. And no power. Okay. Oh, that only takes up a single tile? Interesting. Okay, what about a full-size grocer? We'll just go with a full-size. Interesting. I wonder if they can't hold the same amount of people. Hmm. Curious. Well, either way, build one of those and build a small space bar. And power on the dome. Q. 
Okay, oof, we are barely meeting our power requirements. Just barely. Oh, we need that. That needs to be a priority. That's going to go above 3D machining. Actually, that's going to go above both of those. We need that to be... Ah, oh, it doesn't... Well, still, it needs to be the first thing we get. We need that. You trade out 99 for 50. Is that saying that they will give me 50 machine parts or that they will give me? I don't know. Initiate trade. We will send. Yeah, no, I am not doing that. That is so dumb. No way on earth. Ever. No. Not gonna happen. You're nuts. You're a crazy person. You're absolutely crazy person. Let's see what we need. Ten drones for that one to get the breakthrough for it. Cool. We will do it. We will get it done. All right, so we got 74 available. Cool. We have one vacant work slot. I'm guessing... Oh, it's in the farm. That's not ideal, but not the end of the world. <sighs> We're producing two machine parts. Great. One electronics. Not great, but okay. We need a bigger dome, is what I'm thinking. We need to unlock the really, the really big dome. I mean, or we could get a, set, a similar setup with the... with the barrel dome. And then we could, oh, we could put... That's an interesting idea. We could put two infirmaries in the big dome. Hmm. That's a thought. It's just going to be a lot of power is the only problem, getting that new complex up online. And until we've got our our supply situation figured out, that's not necessarily feasible. Like, I want to be able to build a bunch of wind turbines. That's what I would like. Because if we build, like, well, how much power would that be, actually? If we went with another another dome set up, oops. That'd be what? So, Sector scan. what does the microdome cost in comparison? Five, half the water, though, but not as big, and it can't have a spire. But it does cost 15 power as opposed to 5 power. And it, oh, it costs polymer to build too. And I don't want to spend any more than I have to. So let's look. This would be 15. So if we build two outer domes to start with, that'd be 25 power and an, an additional 2 oxygen and 2 water. Oxygen is fine. We've got a surplus of that right now. Water, do we have the extra capacity? Mm, not really. And it'll increase our food costs too, which is the other problem. What about our moisture evaporators? Oh, we don't even have the ability to build them. What do they take for maintenance? Just metals? Yeah, so we could research the moisture evaporator. What is their max? Hydras? Whoa! We can boost that for effectively free. Huh. Ha 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 ha. And it won't increase our water or our. Hmm. That thought intrigues me. That is an intriguing idea. 
Building not working. What? Oh, it doesn't have any food. That's why. They will fix that quite quickly. Um, we've got four empty work slots now. Yeah, because these have more people working in them in them now. So we're gonna swap that and swap that. Redistribute the workers a little bit. Try to balance it all out because we need that comfort back above. Back above 65. We need it above 70. Unless we built an infirmary in the building. In which case, I think it drops it by 10. I think. So that's an option. We could build one in the actual dome. And drop that comfort level. You know what? Why don't we do that? We'll build... Whoops. We'll have... Yeah. We'll have two infirmaries. One of them won't... I'll, I'll transfer all the workers over until it's needed. Oh, man. That's taking so long to get fixed. <laughs> right, let's go ahead and fast forward. Get that built quickly. Oh, have you already come back with the polymers? You have. Where can I send you to go get a bunch of metal? Right there. Load, metals, and unload. Yeah, so let's see. Let's get that infirmary up and operational. Then we'll shut down the other one. Until such a time as it is required my goodness where's that army of drones going holy cow what are you guys oh they're picking up food wow it's like where are they all off to all right let's go ahead and shut that infirmary down boink boink What do you mean buildings are not working, shopping and social? They are definitely working. Haha, -ha, birth threshold 55 comfort. Okay, so that brought it down by 15. Oh, and they're not working because maybe they don't have enough power? No, they should be working. I don't know why they wouldn't be. I mean, either way, we're good. We've got enough comfort for people that have kids, but I don't know why they wouldn't be working. Bunch of drones sitting around too. That's okay. You don't have any fuel on board. That's fine. Okay. Is that comfort staying where it's at? As long as it's staying where it's at, I'm fine. We still have four, four vacant work slots. None of them are for the infirmary, though, which is good. Okay, wait for those to shut down, and then I'm going to have to open up a couple of these. Let's see, is that going to be enough to keep up with those clothes? Yes. Barely. Sweet, and they got the sensor tower online. All right, well, come on back. Keep helping out over here. Not a whole, a whole lot else to do right now. Let's 
Food seems to be holding steady. Good. We've had a couple more kids. Awesome. So we've got four vacant work slots. Let's see. Colonists. Yeah, we got a lot of middle-aged people. And when they start retiring, that's going to be a problem. Why? Why are you showing up down on my list there? What? Why were you... <laughs> I don't know why that was pinned. It's kind of weird. Okay. Service buildings are not working. Are not working. Okay, why does it say that? What What buildings aren't working? They should not not be working. I'm not sure what's going on there. That very much perplexes me. Service buildings are full, relaxation, and social. Yeah. Sadly, I'm kind of peaked where I'm at with that right now. Let's see, you still chugging away with the concrete up there? Yes, you are. You keep doing your thing. Okay, we're producing quite a few machine parts, which is good. Um, and, and some electronics, which is okay. But I think we're producing enough machine parts now because we're producing th at least three per turn. I'm going to go ahead and get up, or three per day, sorry, not three per turn. I'm going to go ahead and build up a few, a few wind turbines to supplement our power. That way we don't have to keep these on as much. Okay, we'll get four up and running right now. Bring in some more power. Because the less often I have to do maintenance on these, the better. Because we are not producing our own polymers right now. As much as it wanted to tell me we were earlier, we are definitely not. Okay. Comfort is holding steady. Good. Sanity is going up. Excellent. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Food. We're consuming a little bit more than we're producing, which is a little bit concerning, but I think we should be okay. All right, we're getting the wind turbines up and running. Perfect. Polymer blades plus 33% production. So that'll increase their power production by even more. Okay, so we should be able to close all of these now. Again, it costs polymer, and I don't want to spend more polymer right now. But at least we've got that coming. We're, we've gotten it started. Are you still not ready to go yet? Holy cow, come on. How long does it take to produce fuel? Personal 12. Yeah, it's going to take a bit. If we hadn't blown up our stockpile, that would have been nice. Stupid meteor. Blowing up my stuff. Jerk. But, oh well. Nothing I can do about it now. Hey, comfort went up. Cool. Oh, we have someone unemployed. What? Oh, and we have an anomaly. Okay. Get down to that anomaly. Get there now. Get to the chopper. 
And we have someone who's unemployed. Well, we've got... <laughs> Never mind, we've got three vacant work slots now. Cool. Another person entering the workforce. I'm guessing it was one of our kids growing up. Speaking of which, what would the university set us back? Ooh, maintenance. Three electronics. Yeah. Ouch. No. <laughs> Ugh. Well, I mean, it could... We would get production boosts for having the right specialists in the right positions. <sighs> oh, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do about that. Oh. Hmm. Either way, we will be building a university eventually. Maybe not quite yet. Yeah, machine part maintenance, 1.1. .1. Okay, so it did go up noticeably, getting those... The turbines have been running. But only up to 1.1 total. So we're still okay. We're at minus 8 power, so we need to get that online. And then it's going to be nighttime, so that's 30 more power. Okay, but we balanced it out. And actually, I may have opened one more than I needed. Rumor. International Mars mission will scan a planetary anomaly in three souls and nine hours. Why is that special? <laughs> I've scanned several planetary anomalies. I do need to send out a shuttle for Project Purity. That is something that needs to be done. All right, what are we researching right now, actually? Right, right, right. The lowering the penalty for non-specialists. Oh, but we're only bringing in two research per soul. Because we haven't... Oh, yeah, because we haven't completed the project. We need that fuel. Mmm. Crime entities. Shoot. Yeah, go away. Alright guys, well, I think that's probably where we're going to call it for this episode. i got to figure out where we're going to go next. Um, I do want, There's a lot of upgrades that I want to do. I want to get these upgrades for the polymer blades. I want to get these upgrades for the hydroscopic coating. Because that would really increase our water production, which would be awesome. So, we got some things that we got to work on. And we still we need to keep expanding and we need to plan out how we're going to build over here. Um, I want, I'm really wanting to wait until we get the bigger domes just so that we can take advantage of that. But again, bigger domes are going to be more expensive, so we've still got to we got to be strategic about all this. So tune in next time to see what I what I end up doing. If you liked this episode, throw a like down below, subscribe to the channel. I keep I'm going to keep making these pretty regularly. It's going to be coming out every Tuesday and Thursday, um, and then comment below if you've got any suggestions, any tips, things that you think I'm doing wrong or things that I don't know, uh, please feel free to throw those down below and I will, I promise I will read them. Um, but anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. Ace out.